Good morning, friends, and welcome once again to Easy Gardening. Uh, today is the 27th of June. It is the peak of winter here in New Zealand. And right now, 10 o'clock in the morning, it's a chilly 5 degrees centigrade. And the days are very short. And just five days ago, we had the shortest day of the year, and it's called uh, the winter solstice, which is five hours longer than uh, the longest day in December. And the significance of that is that uh, today we are ready to grow our uh, garlic because this crop is supposed to be planted during the shortest day and harvested right after the longest day in December. So friends, uh, stay tuned and I will uh, discuss with you the step-by-step -step procedure in growing this garlic in container and how to prepare the medium and everything. <music> Uh, so this is uh, the polystyrene uh, container that I'm going to use uh, to contain my garlic and right now I have left about 15 liters of the old uh, potting mix uh, that I used last time. Uh, by the way this container can hold about 37 liters of uh, soil medium so that's uh, 15 liters of the old mix and I'm going to add uh, another 15 liters of new potting mix but uh, in addition I have here uh, my peat moss based uh, potting mix which I have prepared last time if you haven't watched that video on how to prepare this peat moss based uh, potting mix uh, please uh, watch it uh, it contains uh, the basic peat moss, some propagation sand, and some fertilizer and lime uh, additives. And in addition, I'm going to add uh, some sheep pellets, about a liter of this in the whole in the container. So basically, these are my ingredients uh, that would uh, recondition the uh, the old potting mix that I used last time. Uh, so we now add. 15 liters of potting mix. Uh, this potting mix contains about 30 liters, so we just use half of it. So let's try to mix it. And then we add about 5 liters of this uh, peat moss based potting uh, mix. Uh, this is basically organic, so this will really improve the structure of uh, the soil, improve its water holding capacity, but at the same time uh, improves the aeration in the medium as well as uh, its nutrient holding capacity. And we will add about uh, a liter of this uh, sheep pellets that would provide additional nutrients for the plants uh, organically. Finally we have this uh, controlled release fertilizer. Uh, this is actually good for six months so hopefully within uh, uh, the first six months of its growth there is continuous supply of uh, nutrients to the plants. Maybe we'll add about three scoops of these. That would be sufficient. Okay. And then we'll just mix them all together. Okay, so this is uh, our final potting mix. And we're now ready to plant our uh, garlic gloves. Um, these are uh, some of the garlic left from last season's crop. I'm going to separate the gloves together. So you see, you should only use the bigger ones. So one uh, bulb has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight gloves. And we'll be using about 14 
gloves in this container so you will need about two bulbs for each container now uh, so first we should make sure that the base of the bulb which will form the roots is down and the pointed tip is upwards and we're going to start at the center and land it make sure that there is one to two centimeters left on top I mean it's covered with one to two centimeters of uh, soil uh, maybe we'll just position this first before we press it uh, so we have positioned all 14 uh, gloves on top of uh, the soil mix uh, We have five at the side and then another five at the other side and we have four at the center and we're just going to press this Make sure uh, the tip is covered uh, With about one to two centimeters of soil Just firm it a bit so there you are, you have planted your garlic and the next thing I'll do is to add water into it and then finish all 10 containers uh, today. Oh, so the final thing would be to make sure uh, your uh, soil medium is uh, well watered and from now on we just wait for the new garlic uh, seedlings to emerge. It will take about two to three weeks before uh, the seedlings emerge. So I expect by the end of July there will be young plants growing from this container. Uh, but by the way, I forgot to mention that I have provided uh, some drainage holes uh, in the pot. One hole in each corner that would be enough to drain excess water uh, from the soil. Uh, so I have prepared the soil medium for all uh, 10 containers and they have positioned uh, the garlic cloves in each pot. Uh, this is the one that I have shown you. Uh, all 14 cloves have been uh, planted. So in a little while I will uh, uh, press all the cloves down, uh, covering the cloves with one or two centimeters of soil. Oh, so all the gloves have been planted, uh, thoroughly watered, so all we need to do now is to wait until the, the new plants emerge and after care would be uh, removal of weeds and trying to check whether there are insect infestation and whether there are uh, some disease infection. Oh, I have uh, actually grown garlic in these containers for the past seven or eight years now and they have here some photos of the plants growing and they have managed to harvest decent sized bulbs that give me almost one year supply of bulbs uh, for the kitchen well not bad considering that garlic in New Zealand sells for more than $30 per, per kilo uh, throughout the year and so friends uh, thank you very much for, for watching my video and as always I encourage you to share this little knowledge with your friends and family and if you want to be updated on the videos that I make uh, please subscribe to this easy gardening channel thank you and have a nice day